Hi, my name is Claire Moore and I'm head of Children's Services at the library. Returning a book to your local library might be as easy as walking up to the front desk and checking it in. But if you had a question like, I read this book a long time ago, it has a woman on the cover, it's about India, you might be met with a blank stare. Well, our library eliminates the blank stare forever. It's called Reader's Advisory and it's about people power. I don't know. I think it's a calling. I think it's it's a public service job, and there's something about. I mean, I love connecting people with books, that's, and that's a big part of what my staff does. But the a lot of what the public library stands for is important to me. I grew up going to libraries like so many people, so it it just feels like such a uh, it's such a gift to be able to do it. You know, every day. I was a voracious reader as a kid. I read. I remember when I was a kid, my public library had a limit of. I believe it was 20 hardcovers and 10 paperbacks per person. That was as many as you could take out at any time. And that was, we, I always took out the maximum, which was like as many as I could, I would like be carrying them out. I have so many memories of like struggling to get all the books to the car. Um, it was just a constant, constant reading. I, that was the only thing I ever got in trouble for as a kid, was like reading under my desk in school and staying up too late and reading like with a flashlight the whole nine yards. It was just, <laughs> it's always been part of my life. Mm -hmm. you just make sure to just feed them through one at a time and that checks them in as they go down. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, yep, uh, I can transfer you upstairs to the reference desk and they can help you with that. All right, one moment, yep. I believe they're still in demand. I think they're still set aside. Okay. So, so I'm going to look and see for the 14 days. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. <laughs> okay, that's upstairs in the writer's room from 1 to 5. Do not have it on audiobook. Would you like both of them on hold for you? Uh, it's a consulting firm. <laughs> And I do everything but consult. <laughs> well, that's okay. There you go. Thank you very much. Come have a nice day. In terms of reading, that's the crucial skill. Um, it's also really imperative that people who do reader's advisory have fantastic customer service and hospitality skills, especially in this library, that they need to be great active listeners. They need to be, because it's not like someone comes up to you and says, you know, I like Daniel Silva recommend me a book and you just hand them a book and they walk away. I mean, Reader's Advisory is about developing relationships. What we do is we help match people with the right book. Uh, it could be also a DVD, uh, audio book. It doesn't matter the format. We try and find the person what they like at the, and what they've requested at that time. It's more a sense you get that someone is looking and they're not quite sure. Or someone who's looking, you know, someone can browse with a lot of confidence. <laughs> or you can see someone browsing and they don't look Sure, so that also gives you the opening uh, if you want to, you know, offer them assistance. When I come in, I get to, I know everybody. And when they say my name, hey Susie, how are you? And that really makes me feel really good. But I think everybody who works here uh, treats their experiences with the people as extensions of their family. So I treat them as I'd want my mother to be treated or my grandmother to be treated. You know, I want them to, as I would want to be treated. And I think that's what we all do. 
we, we, it's an extension of ourselves, really, how we treat other people. That's what we do. We um, are a resource for patrons who generally are good readers and want to expand their reading vocabulary, their, which is very exciting and it's interesting and usually it builds on what people currently like and then you try to take them in broader directions or sometimes altogether new directions. What sort of questions do people come up with at the main desk in terms of, I need a book, I'm interested in, I don't know what I want, blah, 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 blah. All of the above. Oh, that's right, <laughs> all of those. Uh, we just had a, a lady at the desk right a few minutes ago saying, what was the name of that nonfiction book? It took place in India. I think it had a red and white cover. And, you know, and she was really trying to rediscover that book. So it's not only do we introduce you to new books, right. but it's we try to bring back the old books that you've read and would like to see again mm -hmm. also. You hear, you hear about their, you know, their personal situations. Like a person might be coming in for a book because they're going into the hospital for, you know, surgery. Um, and, um, you know, they want to have something, you know, an easy read, something to relax, to take their mind off things. Then you might have a person coming in who is doing a research project. They've gone back to school um, and they, you know, don't know how to navigate the library and they need help with that. Um, so you hear all the different aspects of people's lives, um, you know, when they come to the welcome desk and that's, that's what makes the job so enjoyable. But when a patron sometimes seeks you out because you were the one who recommended a specific book, that's huge. That's the biggest payoff we can really get. I think it makes a nice present because you put it in their lives and then they get to experience something that they wouldn't necessarily get to experience otherwise. My eight and my 11 year old granddaughter walked by the real Malala, I Am Malala book and, and picked it right out and, oh, really? and mentioned her. So I would be very surprised if in school. It is, it has taken the world by storm. Yes, there was amazing potential for animation.